Nigel Edwards says the interest of people downloading free versions of the game is slowly building momentum. However, it is a struggle to get his business off the ground as sales of the app leaves much to be desired. I've been trying to sell it via PayPal and that's where I have received the majority of the challenges. Um, persons have met me on the street and saying, um, hi, you're the guy who has the, the game app and I, I, I'm very happy to, 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 to be recognized uh, on the street. But at the same time, they are letting me know that they are, they are not inclined to use PayPal. In January, Edwards launched Bushman a Mango Adventure and Mango Time for Android phones, a project which took him two years to complete. He says his new idea to incorporate Jab Jab and other related carnival themes into his new game may spark interest in the public domain. I'm thinking I'm juggling two still. The little boy rolling the tire or the cogwheel. As I grew up in, in the early 90s, you roll tires. So make a, an adventure game where you roll tires and you defeat um, certain obstacles that one can recognize here. You know, I'm going to incorporate our carnival component, you know, the jab jabs, you know, um, the veco, you know, as enemies, you know, the, the danger points, you know, things like that. Edwards has developed a new way of encouraging people to purchase the app online. This key pass I have designed and in my planning, I would really love it to only sell for nothing more than 10 EC. And um, in purchasing it, you can access the video game that way. Um, I have been approaching some supermarkets in the St. George's area and um, we're still in the discussion in terms of security, uh, the ease of theft. The game developer is hoping to launch his latest creation sometime later this year. Colin Campbell, GBN News.